It turns out snow wasn't the only new addition to downtown this week. Coming in with the winter weather was art to go a vending machine full of, you guessed it, local artwork. After just one conversation about the potential idea, co-creators Julie Verdon and Kieran Holland decided this idea was too good to pass up. The two repurposed an old cigarette vending machine from the 1960s for the project. Holland explaining it was the perfect fit. The look is right there. And vending is from the, one of these machines is very visceral. You have to push and you pull and then it falls down. It's not, you're not hitting a keypad. You're not, um, it, it's a much more fun experience. Okay. And uh, that was the main reason. It was just that they're cool looking. The vending machine is currently placed on the corner of Beaver Avenue and Pew Street, right outside of Three Dots and full of great artwork. Shoppers can purchase anything from puzzles to handmade earrings from the fascinating exhibit. The trick with art to go though, is that you have to make things that fit inside of the machine, meaning that they're only this big, just about the size of my hand, because they're the only the size of an old cigarette box so that they can fit in the machine properly. The project is seeking artists, both Penn State students and professionals to fill up the slots inside. The owner of the makery and arts and crafts studio downtown Amy Frank was one of those artists that decided to join. So what is it that got you interested in the exhibit in general? Well, here at the Makery, we are um, all about bringing art and delight and surprise into the downtown State College space. And so anything that kind of enhances that and, and continues to elevate this, this awesome downtown that we have, we are, um, we are super excited about, particularly when it is um, specifically angled toward art and local art at that. Frank's personal additions are these hand-painted wooden blocks with words of inspiration engraved in them to help art lovers get through this hectic time. The machine has since been taken off the streets to be upgraded to accept credit cards, but it will be back to serve the public later this week. Reporting from State College, I'm Derek Hyde.